programming track uh, has three core classes, programming one, two, and three, in the first fall, then the spring, and then the summer semesters. The fourth semester and the fourth uh, programming uh, semester, then it, you're very commonly going out on an internship. Many of our, I would say most of our uh, programming students uh, get internships if they seek one. Now that first semester, uh, while you're taking other classes, you're taking your uh, production for media, you're taking uh, rapid prototype production, those are group classes, uh, but you're taking programming one where you focus initially on assembly language um, and then uh, C and a little starting into C++ in that first semester. Also in the first semester you're doing a mathematics workshop and that math workshop is to get, if you have some, knock the rust off a bit, uh, knock, knock a bit of the rust off of any um, linear algebra, trigonometry, um, that is, is really germane to the game industry. In the second semester, you get to uh, develop a game engine from scratch. This is a data-driven game engine. Um, it's not gonna compete with Unity or Unreal. What it's, it's intended to do is to teach uh, C++ at a very uh, advanced level. Uh, this is uh, a, an amazing class uh, that is all about design patterns and architecture um, for in using modern C++. So we actually combine uh, C++ 98 uh, with C++ 11, 14, 17, and now C++ 20. Uh, so this is very much a, a very fast-paced uh, semester in the second semester for programmers uh, where it, you are embedded in your code. You are living in that code the, the entire time. In the third semester, you have an opportunity for uh, a personal programming project. That's kind of the hallmark of that third semester for programmers, along with the capstone, of course. So in the second and third semester, you're working in groups. Um, you're working in the, in the second semester, you're working in a smaller group on a game lab, uh, which is now a, a, a class that is um, about group development, creative, uh, creative projects in a, in, a, in a group setting, but specifically not entertainment. Now maybe it's serious games, it's modeling and simulation. Um, then in the second semester also, you're starting on, the, uh, on your capsule. So you've formed teams but at this point for your, your master's thesis, um, and then you work on your capstone project with those teams in the second and into the third semesters. In the third semester, then from the programming side, uh, you only have two classes in the summertime. It's a 12-week semester, a smaller semester, shorter semester. Uh, and you're doing a deep dive in a choice, uh, a project of your choice. We call that the personal programming project. Um, this might be... Uh, you might be interested in graphics. You might be interested in artificial intelligence. Uh, maybe you're interested in extending the game engine that developed in, this, in the second semester, or you're developing tools. Maybe your path, this is really about trying to differentiate yourself from other folk that are out there looking for, this, uh, for the same sorts of jobs. So what you're looking to do is now target uh, in that third semester what companies you're, you're seeking. And this is an opportunity to do that. You also have curriculum in the third semester on memory management, graphics programming, artificial intelligence, and optimization. And um, all of those pieces simultaneously are happening while we prepare you uh, for interviews. So we do mock interviews as well in the third semester, and we have industry relations come in and start working and interviewing you uh, at that time. If the in the fourth semester, if you choose not to get an internship, then you can come back and continue to hone your skills. coming into FIA generally uh, come from a technical background, uh, though not always. Uh, I would say that uh, maybe 80, anecdotally 80% 80 or more of our students in the programming track come from computer science undergrad. Um, at the very least, what you're coming in with uh, are technical skills in C and C++. Now, that does not mean we expect you to be a game developer already, but you have familiarity with those uh, with C or C++. C++, superset of C, very different languages, of course, but we're expecting you to have familiarity with those low-level languages, lower-level languages, perhaps. Um, C Sharp, amazing. Java, amazing. If you have Python skills, if you have other programming skills, that's fantastic. But what we're looking for, and what I think it takes to succeed in FIA, is that you have some familiarity with C and C++ coming into the program. We do not start with a Hello World style approach to C++ programming in FIA. We absolutely hit the ground running with an expectation that you come in with um, some of those skills already. Definitely with the foundations of mathematics, critical thinking, problem solving. And those are the kinds of um, skills that you develop with a computer science degree, a computer engineering degree, 
um, or other uh, technical related uh, undergrad. That said, you do not have to have a computer science degree. You do not have to have, uh, a, you do not have to already be a game developer in, uh, in that space. We're gonna train you to, to make games. And if you came from a different degree, we've had some of the best programmers come through here that are not from computer science. Um, the one that, that, there's a couple that, that hit my head right off the bat, a physics uh, major and a biology major. A biology major, absolutely one of the most amazing programmers that came through here. So don't just think that, hey, if I didn't come into computers, come from computer science, I can't be successful. Not true. If you're motivated and you're hardworking and you start with a foundation that, it, that has some technical background, particularly on the math side, I think that's what it takes to succeed.